all companies are technology companies these days. Airline companies are saying that they view themselves as software companies with wings. We haven't seen a disruption like this probably in 30, 40 years, probably all the way back to the 1980s when manufacturing was being disrupted by the application of the Lean Principles. So the main drivers for adopting DevOps and Lean Principles are, I think, firstly, the, the rapid pace of change and the ecosystem that we're seeing. The same principles that revolutionize manufacturing are the same principles that we can use in the work that we do. We need to build companies that can adapt rapidly to changing situations and changing customer demands. Now more than ever, it's becoming increasingly urgent for almost every organization to be adopting DevOps principles and patterns. Typically, we've thought of increasing throughput and stability is a zero-sum game. The idea that by going faster, we're going to break things. We've shown that high performers achieve high levels of both throughput and stability. It's not a zero-sum game. We're changing the game. And this is what happened in, in manufacturing, in the lean movement. Toyota didn't win by building shitty cars more cheaply. They won by building better, higher quality cars more cheaply and faster than the competition. During the uh, quality revolution of the 1980s, there was something called the Taguchi Method. And the Taguchi Method was all about First, to drive quality, you first want to have a repeatable process, a fully repeatable process. And so then step by step, day by day, you're able to get better and better and better. And that's the heart of the Taguchi method. It's the heart of DevOps. It was a, it was a paradigm shift, and that's what we're seeing now with DevOps and Lean. We can move faster and create high quality systems and provide better stability and resilience in the services we're building. Uh, and obviously, you know, why wouldn't you want that?